Are Onokakamfu of Yoruba land, Iba Gani Adams, has paid a condolence visit to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to pay tribute to Prophet T.B. Joshua. Gani Adams signed the condolence register and proceeded to grant Emmanuel TV an interview where he spoke about the clergyman. Gani Adams started by saying the death of the Prophet is a great loss to the world, Africa, the Yoruba race and Arigidi people, even Akoko as a sub-tribe in Yoruba land. He said, It was a shocking news. It was a highly devastating news. Our leader in our community, we have lost him just like that. He was a humanitarian. Apart from being a prophet, he believed in charity and he was a man that loved the masses. His empowerment, goodwill, reached every nook and cranny. He was a man of many sector and tribe. He was a detribalized person who opened his wings for various tribe and ethnic groups in Nigeria. I am highly shocked by this incident. He is someone that I believe so much in. He is someone that will hear that I want to do something and he will send something to assist me. He is one of the people that supported me when I became Are Onokakamfu. He supported me financially and morally and even sent a powerful delegation when I was installed. I believe the owner has taken him away. The creator that created all of us has taken him away. May his soul rest in perfect peace, the leader of the Odua People's Congress said in his speech. Adams and the late T.B. Joshua hailed from Marigidi Akoko community in Akoko Northwest area of Ondo State. On June 6, Adams, in a statement by his special assistant on media, Kende Adiremi, said it was really devastating to hear such sad news about his brother and Kingsman. The OPC leader stressed that T.B. Joshua, through his ministry, opened a new vista in religious tourism in the country, which he said earned Nigeria a lot in terms of foreign exchange from his accommodating spirit. With his death, there has been an eclipse in God's vineyard. Egbon lived a legacy of service and sacrifice to God's kingdom that is living for generations yet unborn, he said.